this storm will have to go down is probably our favorite chase of 2022. For starters, there was nobody there. Everybody was celebrating the 4th of July at their homes. Nobody was chasing that day. I don't recall seeing one chaser. This ended up turning into a dead ratio. It went into several states, but it was tornado warned right here. And I believe this was the only spot it was tornado warned in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Every spectrum of the color green, I think I saw that day. And I made sure I went out of the sunroof so that it wasn't the tint of the window to show a different color. But as you can see, and right here we thought it was coming down, the gust needle off the front, of course. I uttered that famous line, it's going through the city. Now to give context, it looked like it was connecting right there. So I thought I was seeing the beginning of a tornado on the front of it. it turned out to be a gust nato. It didn't really do nothing but kick a bunch of dirt through the neighborhoods. But at that time, you never know. And if you think you're about to see mass casualties in the beginning of an ugly tornado, it's gonna have your senses very heightened. turned back around and jumped on major highway one into Minnesota. We rode the storm for over 130 miles before we finally said we'd seen enough. It was time to get back. I had to be back the next day for the kids in Oklahoma. So, dang, that's some white knuckle drive. All right, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. You're under tornado warning. Look at that green. <laughs> wow. This is dicey. Somewhere between Kentucky and Crockett, Texas, I stopped enjoying the beauty and the awe of tornadoes, knowing what they do and the devastation and death they cause. To my knowledge, a storm didn't cause any of that. That's what made it my favorite.